really sign off last night because we just kind of walked around for a little bit and then went home and drank some whiskey. It was fun. Um, right now it is raining, so that might change our plans a little bit. But we're probably still going to walk around closer to the Frothy Monkey because that's still some really cool stuff. It's um, almost like its own little area besides downtown, even though it's technically downtown. It's like the Chattanooga Choo Choo area. That whole block is a ton of stuff to do. Yeah. There's the Choo Choo itself, which is really cool to just walk around. Um, the Frothy Monkey, the Songbird Guitar Museum. Um, the Hot Chocolatier, the 1816 Whiskey Distillery. A bunch of really good restaurants. Like, really good restaurants, some little shops, just all sorts of really cool stuff. And it's just kind of like, it's all in the little area. It's really nice. So that's where we're heading right now. We're going to go get some coffee and some food at the Frothy Monkey. And I try not to pick favorites, but I think that's honestly my favorite place in Chattanooga. It has good food, good drinks, and good coffee, and like you just can't beat it. So, um, I will see you guys when we get there. on the choo-choo if you've never heard of it. It actually used to be an old um, train terminal and a little while back it got turned into a historical hotel and now you can actually stay in an old train car that's been converted into a hotel room and that's actually where we stayed on our honeymoon and it is super cool it's just it's really really nice and like even like the actual hotel portion of it which is like its own separate building is super super nice the they have a heated pool which has like this really cool like waterfall feature it's just it's awesome and there's so many things like connected to it like the frothy monkey is connected it's right in the lobby and then so like when you get out of your hotel in the train car you just walk to the lobby and you got like access to that restaurant and they do breakfast and they do got coffee and all that so you don't even have to really leave the hotel to get to the frothy monkey yeah and then right across the street is this place called the hot chocolatier and they do they mainly do hot chocolate but they also do really good coffee one of my favorite things that i've gotten there is a mexican hot chocolate um, and with a shot of espresso and oh my gosh, it is amazing. It's like spicy and sweet and just really amazing. Um, and then also conveniently right across the street is the 1816 distillery and 1816 is actually one of our favorite whiskeys. And so when we went on our honeymoon, we went on the tour of the distillery and we might do that today. Maybe. Mm, don't know. But it is super cool, and it's just really nice to learn all of the oh, history. Oh, we might have to, so we can try the bourbon barrel. Oh yeah. Brew. I don't think we've tried that one. Coffee. 
they have their own bakery for all their baked goods and their bread. They make all of their stuff from scratch. Like, they do all their own syrups. It's just, it's amazing here. Um, I've never had anything that I haven't liked. So, it's just really amazing. And it looks so cool. It's like a fusion between like the old um, train station and then like modern industrial look. It's super cool. This is how we're walking. It's great. It's like not that cold, but it's very rainy. Oh, okay, there we go. Here's an oh. Whew. Actually, like restaurants and stores and stuff, it's really cool. But obviously, we can't go in one right now because we're not staying here. But there are super cool on the inside. Next time, next time. I'm playing Frogger with it. Yep, that was George okay. McGee.
Why are you so close? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my cute boy. And my sexy man. Okay, so we're about to go inside the Chattanooga Whiskey 1816 Experimental Distillery to go on a whiskey tour. And we can't take any video, so I'm going to take some pictures and stuff on my phone and just have them up for you guys to look at. But this is where they do all of their small batch, and it's always so good. You get to have six samples at the end, after the tour, and so you get nice and, nice and buzzed. It's really cool. We can't do video, but I'll take plenty of pictures. Sixteen Distillery makes lots of different blends with oats, fruits, spices, nuts, and anything they think will make their whiskey unique. It's all small batch and therefore limited edition. They hand label and fill every bottle after aging. The tour also takes you down to the barreling basement, which is not temperature controlled. So the whiskey barrels get to expand and contract as much as the weather changes to allow maximum whiskey to wood contact. At the end of the tour, you receive six samples, three whiskeys at different stages of barreling, and three whiskey-based cocktails. here right now and I absolutely love this place they have all like hot chocolate they do do coffee they have a they, <laughs> they do have a coffee menu but they are famous for their hot chocolate so it's normally what we get we do get them with a shot of espresso because we are coffee addicts but they also have amazing pastries and candy everything is made in-house by hand it is amazing um, so I got the um, dark raspberry hot chocolate. And one of the things that I love about this place is instead of whipped cream, you can get a house-made marshmallow. And we always get that, because where else can you get a marshmallow in your hot chocolate, like at a real restaurant? And then someone at the Choo Choo recommended their macaroons. So that's what I got. It was, what is it, a hazelnut yeah. something? Hazelnut cinnamon, I don't know. Hazelnut something macaroon. And then Kyle got a blueberry scone and a squirrel hot chocolate. So, with a shot of espresso. With a shot of espresso. We are excited. As always, 
I'm done four times faster than he is <laughs> with everything. We were in the distillery and like in the middle of the tour and it just started like pouring down rain and he was just like, well, we have to go outside, so follow me if you want. But favorite kind of like corporate places here mellow mushroom they have such good pizza but for a corporate place it's the coolest mellow mushroom i've ever seen it really is it's there's so very many cool unique. things there i've never seen another one quite like it so yeah it's still pretty cool and very unique to chattanooga mm -hmm. Something really cool about these buses, Chattanooga has a free um, shuttle system that goes all over the city. Is it just on South Side or is it? it? It goes all the way around. Like all over. And so if you just park one place, you can walk it anytime. But on days like today, where if you're just trying to park somewhere and it's raining, you can take the free shuttle almost anywhere. And it's super easy to navigate. It's really cool. but. We are probably going to leave after we go to Mellow Mushroom, so we're, that's why we're in our car. But if you ever come here, that's a really great asset to take care of, especially if it's hot or raining. our weekend in Chattanooga. We pretty much did everything that we wanted to do except for go to Revelator. Um, we did end up going back to Stone Cup to get a cup of coffee for the road. I'm really glad that yesterday was really nice and warm. Um, kind of made up for the fact that today was a little bit rainy, but we still got to do everything. Um, and we had a really great time, um, both on our own and with uh, Kyle's dad and brother so that was really nice. If you guys want me to do a video where we go and try new things because this weekend was just all of our old favorites um, leave a comment down below and let me know and if you guys could like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!